Do you know how to divide polynomials? Well, first, let's look at what a polynomial is. A polynomial is a mathematical expression with multiple terms in it. There can be variables, there can be exponents, there can be coefficients and constants. Let's look at an example of a polynomial. Here's an example of a polynomial. Notice that this has three terms in it. We can also have monomials, which have one term, like 14x, or we can have binomials, like this one, 14x plus 2. They are all related, monomials, binomials, and polynomials, and you've been working with them in previous concepts. In this concept, and in this video, we're going to look at how to divide a polynomial. Let's take a look at that. 16x squared plus 6x plus 20 divided by 2. Now this means that we are going to divide this whole polynomial in the numerator by 2, which is in the denominator. To do this, we're going to split up the terms of the polynomial, and we're going to rewrite it as 16x squared divided by 2 plus 6x divided by 2 plus 20 divided by 2. If you notice, this 2 had to get distributed to each of these terms. And because of our fraction bar, we know that we're distributing it in division. Now we can simplify. Let's start with this first term. 2 goes into 16 8 times. There's nothing to simplify this with, so we bring down the x squared plus 2 goes into 6 3 times. Again, we can't simplify the x, so we bring it down. And we have 2 goes into 20 10 times. This is our answer. Let's look at another one. 9x squared minus 6x plus 18 divided by 3x. Again, let's distribute this 3x with each term in the form of division. So we have 9x squared divided by 3x minus 6x divided by 3x plus 18 divided by 3x. Let's start with the first term. 9x squared divided by 3x. We can start with the coefficients. 3 goes into 9 three times, and this x simplifies with this x squared, leaving us with an x alone, minus. Here the x's cancel. 3 goes into 6 two times, plus, in this one, I can start with the coefficient in this third term. 3 goes into 18 six times. That simplifies the 3, makes this a 6. I can't do anything with the x, so I need to leave it as my denominator. This is my final answer. Let's look at one more. x squared plus 5x plus 6 divided by x plus 2. Now notice that I have a binomial here in my denominator. Because I have a binomial and not just a monomial, as I did in the other two examples, I have to set this problem up differently. I'm going to set it up just like I would long division. x plus 2 divided by x squared plus 5x plus 6. x plus 2 doesn't go into just x squared, but it does go into this whole term. And I can say that it goes in there x times. So I'm going to bring up an x. Now, just like I would in long division, I'm going to multiply this x times both of these terms. x times x is x squared. x times 2x is a positive 2x. Just like in long division, now I subtract. 5x minus 2x is 3x. x squared minus x squared is 0. Those cancel bring down the 6. x plus 2 goes into 3x plus 6 
three times. And you can see that by going what times x is going to give me 3x? What times 2 is going to give me 6? I can do a positive 3 there. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times x is 3x. When I subtract, I end up with 0. This is my final answer.